Hey everyone, Microsoft Singapore has kindly lent me this Surface laptop for two weeks. So over the next few days, I will be making several reviews regarding this laptop. In today's video, I want to show you whether or not you can actually draw or take notes on this Surface laptop, whether you can write or draw anything on the screen of a laptop using the Surface Pen. And now let's wake up the laptop and draw something. I'm going to use Photoshop. This is a touch screen. So the Surface Laptop, it has a touch screen and you can use it with the Surface Pen and it supports pressure sensitivity as well as palm rejection. Palm rejection is almost flawless as long as you get into the hover mode with the cursor on the screen. As you can see, it took a while for Photoshop to launch and it hasn't fully launched yet. I need to see the dialog box. The model that I'm using right here, this came with the Intel i7 processor. That's a dual core 2.5 gigahertz processor. And it has 16 gigs of RAM. You can configure it to um, up to 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of storage. But that will make the laptop really expensive. So this is Photoshop CC. Let me zoom to 200% to draw. Pressure sensitivity works really well. It's quite responsive. Let me um, zoom down. So I can use my fingers to zoom down. If you are using older versions of Photoshop or other graphic apps, uh, whether or not you can use finger gestures will depend on whether that app supports finger gestures. And with Photoshop CC, it does. If you're using an app that does not support finger gestures, um, well, uh, sometimes you may need to access keyboard shortcuts on this side of the keyboard and it may have some difficulty. For example, when I'm drawing, I can see that the screen wobbles. So sometimes I want to hold the screen like this so that it wobbles less. And I also want to zoom out. If I'm using other software, I need to use the control minus to zoom out, but there is no control key on this side. So we only have the Ethernet key, but there's no control button on this side. So um, this can be a problem in some graphic apps. But as far as um, drawing goes, um, drawing performance is quite good. Now you can change the pressure sensitivity of the pen. You just need to go into the Surface app, which I'm going to do so right now. So you can change the pressure right here. All right, let me go back to Photoshop. Let me just draw some hatching lines to let you see. I'm going to use as little pressure as possible. And I'm also going to draw very slowly. I'm testing for the diagonal jitter. Many digital styluses, um, they have this problem with diagonal lines when you draw them very slowly. And here it seems that this is quite straight. There is some slight jitter, but it's not really that big of an issue. So pressure sensitivity works really well. Let's see how the strokes taper. They taper a bit abruptly. Now with Wacom styluses, Wacom tablets and other brands of tablets, this area here, this area here, they will taper much more gradually, much more smoothly. But here uh, with the Surface Laptop, it tapers off like this. But overall drawing performance is actually quite good. The stylus is very accurate. The cursor is always underneath the pen tip. And with the Surface Pen, you can have the option of having a felt tip so that it's not so slippery on the glass surface. And it works quite well here for drawing purposes. Let me switch over to another app. Um, let's switch over to using Midibank Paint Pro, which is a free app that I have downloaded. This is Midibank Paint Pro. Pressure sensitivity works really well. In fact, I think it works even better compared to Photoshop. It's very accurate. As I'm drawing, I can still see the screen wobbling. So I will not want to put too much pressure on the screen because I'm afraid um, 
this may affect the hinge on. All right, uh, let's try the tapering lines. You can see here the lines, they taper much more gradually compared to Photoshop. So how your lines perform also depends on the app that you use. This is Sketchable. Pressure works here as well. And it's very smooth. Performance is great. All right, definitely no problems with drawing on the screen of this Surface laptop. The only issue is the screen, it wobbles, so the user experience is not going to be perfect compared to using, let's say, the Surface Pro or any of those graphic tablets where you can actually put them on the table. So um, this is the only thing. So, but for light drawing purposes, for doodling, um, no problem at all. And now let's, um, turn on let's use some note taking apps this is Wacom bamboo paper one of my favorite apps for taking notes when writing obviously the screen is going to wobble especially when you're writing at the top of the screen like this if you're writing further down here nearer to the hinge it doesn't wobble as much but if you're writing at the top it's better to just put a hand behind to hold it. So writing performance is quite good. Writing performance, of course, will depend also on the app that you use. I'm now using this app called Squid. I would say that it's able to capture my handwriting pretty well. And you can use the eraser on the back of the surface pen to erase. But sometimes um, you can see this problem cropping up. So it doesn't erase properly. It would actually draw with the back. I'm not sure why that is. It's irritating. This problem with the eraser only happens with a squid. With other apps, you don't see this problem. It works fine with Wacom Bamboo Paper, by the way. The last handwriting app I want to show you is called Nable. This is an app that can recognize your handwriting and convert it into text, convert it into editable text. So let's test that out. I wrote all the letters in uppercase and it seems that the app was able to recognize most of the words quite accurately except for this word, lazy. Maybe I need to write it a bit neater. Or maybe I can just erase this and just write it better. Now it's reading as LA24. Let me just redo that again. All right, so now you got it. It did mix up the upper and lower case, but the text, it was able to read correctly. And if you want to edit the text, you just have to double click onto the handwriting and it will convert it into editable text. It's that easy. I definitely have no problems taking notes on a screen like this. In fact, it works quite well for taking notes. The only downside is it wobbles, but that's to be expected when you are writing on a laptop screen. So in terms of drawing performance and writing performance, it's actually very similar to the Surface Pro 5 with the exception that this screen is larger. This is 13.5 inches versus the Surface Pro 5, which is 12.3 inches. And this screen comes with a really good keyboard. So this is a proper laptop that you can write on. All right, so that's all for this quick review. I will put out two more videos. One will be the Surface Pro 5 versus the Surface Laptop. The other video will be a review, a proper review of the Surface Laptop from the perspective of a graphic designer and artist whether or not this is a capable enough computer to work on uh, graphic design. All right, I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.